So what are peptide bioregulators? They're short chains of amino acids that uh, communicate with certain sections of your DNA, controlling gene expression and protein synthesis. As we get older, our genes get less efficient at encoding peptides, and that's why our body just slowly starts to break down. And the reason why I'm excited about peptide bioregulators is you can get them from natural sources, from organ livestock meat, and so yeah, they can be sold as dietary supplements and they can be taken orally because they're so small, it can be absorbed. So being isolated from actual food sources, the side effects are very low, and it just keeps people's mind at ease knowing it's actually come from something natural. And Dr. Bill Lawrence has been doing a long-term study with bioregulators and looking at people's epigenetic ages and seeing some impressive age reversals. So I'm gonna be having an expert come on soon to do a podcast with me to discuss this further. So the great thing about bioregulators is they're very organ and tissue specific. And the three I've chosen are hepatamin, and that's for the liver, cartilax, which is particularly for the cartilage, and the other one is Vesugan, which is for like blood vessels. So cartilax obviously helps with cartilage regeneration. It upregulates the uh, collagen producing gene like COLA1 gene and A2 as well. And obviously that can even have cross benefits even for your skin, but the primary reason I'm doing it is for my cartilage. In predominantly in my knees and there's an interesting study with it with people with arthritis in their knees and 68% reported less pain in their knees and they even did scans of it as well and there was cartilage actual regeneration and genetically knees are a weak point of mine I've also got uh, issues with the weight distribution of my feet I've got inner soles now to correct that but pretty much 40 years of walking in a bad way obviously doesn't bode well for my knees so that's two reasons there and then on top of that I do weightlifting so in particular things like lunges, squats or in my case I do the leg press because squats are risky for the back and obviously that puts your knees under a lot of strain and so if you're planning to live well past 120 then you need to be doing these things early. Cartilax is also anti-inflammatory and that's a big source of my inflammation. And my, my liver is actually not inflamed but uh, muscles and uh, in particular joints they get inflamed for myself due to all this weightlifting. And yeah, this would actually help it over time. This is something I'm gonna be monitoring. I monitor my uh, symphony age, so looking at specific organs. And yeah, that's something I'm gonna keep an eye on. Cartilax also increases the expression of IGF-1 and that helps with regeneration as well. And obviously you might've heard of that. It's great for that, but then obviously longevity wise if I was to take just IGF-1 it decreases the expression of the SIRT6 gene which is a longevity gene that's why IGF-1 is not seen as pro-longevity but in this instance cartilax actually increases the expression of the SIRT6 gene so yeah you've got increased uh, IGF-1 and it's being obviously targeted in certain areas if you've got tissue regeneration you're specifically targeting with that bioregulator then it's actually gonna help in those areas that are inflamed. And IGF-1 is something I keep an eye on. Obviously it's downstream of growth hormone. And yet yeah, that's something you don't wanna have it too high, but having it too low it does have health span implications, you know, poor recovery from exercise, weak bones, all kinds of things. And my IGF is fairly low, but not drastically low that it would become a huge problem. I look at both blood markers as well as DNA methylation patterns of it too. So I take hepatamin for the liver and my actual liver age going from the symphony age has actually decreased. I've decreased massively inflammation in my liver. I've still got a long way to go, but over this last year it has consistently gone down. But you've got to remember, I used to be quite unhealthy at certain points in my life, being either overweight, like over 40 kilos heavier than what I am now. I used to drink quite a bit at certain points in my life. So a lot of liver inflammation has happened over the years and things do take a long time to actually reverse. And in this modern age, most people's livers aren't in amazing health. You know, there's toxins coming in. People generally eat too much, especially carbohydrates, and then that leads to obviously fatty liver disease. And hepatamin enhances liver function. Remember, this is a natural path in your body and 40 year olds liver function isn't gonna be as uh, optimal as a 20 year old. So yeah, you've got these toxins coming in and this helps with that detoxification pathway. This even goes into digestive health. Obviously your bile comes from your liver and this enhances that process of bile production. And then that helps with digestion. 
you know, avoiding things like indigestion and bloating. So the other one I've done is Vesugan, and this helps with vascular health, improving your blood vessels. And yeah, this is something I'm wary of. Uh, you might be asking, well, how do I know if my blood vessels are healthy or not? And I've mentioned this before, but uh, a good indicator is looking at your toenails. And if they've got significantly thicker as you've aged, then that's a sign that uh, blood flow to those extremities isn't what it once was. And that's just extremities I'm talking about everywhere, you know, like even your skin and, you know, delivering oxygen and nutrients to those cells. So it's a very important thing having optimal uh, blood flow and maintaining the integrity of your endothelial lining is just crucial for everyone because, yeah, uh, heart disease, it affects, you You know, people who might be 50, 70, 80, you've got plaque building up, everyone, even from uh, the age of one. You know, you've already got plaque starting to build up. Obviously, it's almost nothing in that age, but it's just a, a process that just keeps on happening throughout your life. Heart health and circulation is something I'm keeping a very close eye on as I get older. And you can just really see it in people like uh, someone who's healthy, you know, like even in their face, not just their skin, but their eyes. You know, they have their eyes just glow, have a like a twinkle in their eyes. There isn't redness around the edge of the eyelid, that kind of thing. So I'll be doing further updates on bioregulators, looking at certain health data points that I think are relevant to specific biomarkers. Like I say, with my toenails, I'm gonna to be keeping a close eye on them and now I'm trimming them down, the thickness of them, and just seeing if they stay thin, then that's an indication that things are improving, at least from a physical aspect. But yeah, I'll be looking at actual biomarkers too. And the next organ I'm gonna be exploring for a bioregulator is my kidneys. That's a weak point of mine. So yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated with that one. So if you're interested in trying out one of these peptide bioregulators, I got mine from Cosmic Nootropic. They've been around a long time, have very high quality ingredients. Like I say, these are from natural sources and yet yeah, they've got great customer feedback. Yeah, if you check out the pinned comment down below, there's more information there. So if you like that, then check out this video here on me reversing my biological age. Thanks for watching. See you next time.